It's the year 2000. The Cubs are losing to the Dodgers. This one got requested so much. There's not a lot of footage. It's hard to break down, but the Cubs are making a comeback in the ninth. They get within one run. The fans start going crazy. They're going to witness a miracle. The Cubs are going to come back and beat the Dodgers. These three fans, what does this say? What does this say? W E something D classic fat guy. Like just put the most amount of pain on me as possible. Hide it all. Hide it all. I don't know what that says, but then there's a fight in the stands and this is what happened. It was May 16th, the year 2000 and Pulliam was a 27 year old enjoying company seats provided by the Cubs ownership group. After nine innings of none too good natured back and forth with the Dodgers bullpen, I guarantee you it was not good natured and I guarantee you it was not back and forth and he was just annoying the hell out of the Dodgers bullpen. Fans always think that players want to do that. They just want you to shut up. The future political ace decided he wanted a hat, a Dodgers hat, specifically Dodgers catcher Chad Cruder's hat. How do you say that name? In a move, he now acknowledges that was a stupid prank gone horribly wrong. So this dude reaches onto the field. He yanks the backup catcher's hat and begins strolling for the exit. And they don't show replays of this. People are just running around. You got a whole mob. You got the, all the Dodgers bullpen, like 19 guys went into the crowd. The catcher's in there somewhere at the bottom. And then I want to point out this guy in the gray shirt and the hat right there, because I think, I'm not positive, I think this is Ronald Camacho, Camacho, who wins 475 grand from the Cubs and 300 grand from the Dodgers in this whole melee. So eyes on him. There he is talking with someone right here. They're jawing at each other on the bottom left of the screen. And now we're going to get a soda throw right here, bottom of the screen. This guy's going to chuck a soda at the whole group. Bad throw, if we're being honest. The the liquid just comes out right away. The cup never spills. You want to hit someone with it while it's full, and then it explodes on them. This was really like a misting, not a soda bomb. But his buddy pats him on the back, says, good job, hell of a throw. This kid, I don't even get it, man. I mean, I don't want a bucket hat shame. A good bucket hat's great. Who the hell wears a bucket hat with zero design? Bucket hats are festive. Who wears a bucket hat to a night game? I don't get it at all. It's a weird look. Uh, but he's having fun. He's happy with the cameras on him. And now look, you have the catcher and the guy that I think is Ronald. Just He's just holding him right there because they think that was the original hat stealer, I guess. I don't know. Bucket Hat's doing his thing. Everyone's going crazy. They said the catcher was just choking people. He was just choking people out. And this guy, he's got everyone on him they treated him as if he was the main instigator so they sent him to prison for a night so they got like in wrongful imprisonment they didn't press any charges they got battery he sued everyone for everything and he's just in the middle and everyone's trying to get him to run away trying to grab him and trying to move they think this is the main guy i think right now he realizes he's probably going to get like you know 600 grand from this let's go gonna be rich so he leaves, that old guy right there in the middle of it, that dude with a weird vest sweater. Now everyone else in the bleachers is like, hey, we want to have fun too. Let's just pepper the field with shit. Cubs are making a comeback. Let's delay it even more. Let's ruin the momentum. Cubs end up not coming back and winning this game. Dodgers head to the bullpen. The weird thing is that the one dude wins uh, seven hundred and seventy-five grand. The guy who stole the hat, Josh Pulliam, he didn't get in trouble at all. Zero penalties. What if this t- these two guys knew each other? What if it was an inside game? What if they split the money? I think we need to investigate. Otherwise, I'm going to bring Jake to a game. Nah, we'll never do that. We're not assholes.